Well, we're looking at a new video of a volcanic eruption on a remote island in southern Japan. Mount Shindake sent plumes of black smoke and ash into the sky, forcing an evacuation this morning. Some flights being diverted, uh, diverted to avoid the area, but everyone living on the island is said to be safe. So when you see pictures like that, you need to think two things. Very interesting, and I wonder what Johanna thinks about that. <laughs> Johanna, what do you think about well, that? Well, the pictures are awesome. I mean, unbelievably, it was actually the Japanese Meteorological Agency that captured the moment this volcano erupted uh, early this morning. So pretty spectacular that we've uh, got these images. Let me show you that video again. Uh, pretty spectacular just to see that plume of ash rise about 9,000 meters, 30,000 feet into the air, which is why some flights have been diverted. And there is a flow of hardened hot rock uh, moving down the north side of the mountain, which is why uh, there are still evacuations in place. The Japan Meteorological Agency uh, keeps the highest alert in place uh, because there may be more eruptions over the next couple of days and also some of those flights uh, being diverted. But this is an active volcano, last erupted in uh, 2014. We didn't have a lot of warning for this one, but again, an, an active volcano uh, that has been dormant for about 34 years before the eruptions last year. Well, 35 years ago, my wife living in Chilliwack at the time, remembers hearing a bang that turned out to be Mount St. Helens mm -hmm. erupting. And I mention that uh, in part because when we think of the Ring of Fire, we often, you and I, talk about earthquakes. We should talk about volcanoes as well. That's right. And I will always remember the day of the eruption because it falls on my birthday every oh. year. But uh, yeah, May 18th is the uh, Mount St. Helens eruption, and it is connected to the volcanoes in Japan uh, by the Pacific Plate. And I want to show you how they're connected, all connected along the Ring of Fire that you've probably heard heard of to do with the earthquakes. 90% of the earth, of the world's earthquakes happens on this ring of fire. About 75% of the world's volcanoes also happens on this ring of fire. This is where the Pacific plate, this big tectonic plate, is bumping and grinding with all of the continents. So while one won't trigger another one, uh, they're all connected and this is where we see the all of the world's, uh, most of the natural disasters.